Welcome to Electra Online. Now part four of this particular problem, number 16, on the JE Advanced Test. Well, it appears to be a very difficult problem, but it's actually a really simple problem if we think about, uh, think about it in the right way. So what we're dealing with here is, we're, again, we're dealing with two particles, A and B, and we're trying to find the relative velocity, the magnitude of the relative velocities. And so we're going to subtract the velocity of one from the velocity of the other and take the absolute value of that. So here it says that particle A is rotating on a horizontal circular path of radius one meter in the xy plane with constant angular speed omega equals one radian per second. Particle B is moving up at a constant speed of 3 meters per second in the vertical direction as shown. Ignore gravity. So at first when I looked at it, I go, well, that's kind of strange. They're not telling us where exactly this particle B is. It could be anywhere and it's moving up at 3 meters per second. So how can we find the relative velocities? But then of course, if we express their velocity as vectors, vectors can be moved anywhere we like them, uh, we want them to be moved to. So essentially, we can put vector A and vector B, the velocity of A and the velocity of B, tail to tail. And it really doesn't matter at what point in its path A is traveling, you can see that the velocity of A will always be perpendicular to the velocity of B. So essentially, we can say that this here is velocity A, and this here will be velocity B. And so if we want to turn, make that into vectors, we can write it like that. And of course, what we want to do is we want to take the magnitude of the difference of the two vectors. So we're going to subtract vector B from vector A or velocity B from velocity A and then take the absolute value of sign of that. In other words, take the magnitude of that. So if this is VB, then we can draw VB in the opposite direction. Let me use a different color. So here we can call that VB in the negative direction. So put a negative sign in front of that. And then if we add those two together, essentially we end up with something like this. So if we add those two vectors, this will be the resultant vector. So this vector here would be vector A minus vector B, or velocity A minus velocity B. The absolute value sign of that would be the magnitude of this vector. And of course, the magnitude of the vector would be equal to the square root of the magnitude of A squared plus the magnitude of B squared, because it's simply a triangle, so we use Pythagorean theorem, so to speak. So we know what velocity b is, they tell us it's 3 meters per second, but what about velocity a? They give it to us in terms of radians per second, the angular velocity. But we know that v is equal to r times omega, and in this case the radius is 1, and omega is 1, which means velocity is 1. And so therefore, velocity of vector a would be 1, velocity of vector b would be 3, so this would be equal to the square root of 1 square plus 3 square, which is 10, the square root of 10, like this. And notice it is one of the answers, it is answer r. And then coming back over here, we can see that yes, for part 4, r would either be this or this. And you can see that there's only one answer that has all four parts correct, S, T, P, and R. Those were the answers that we found for the four parts of this particular problem. That's our kitten messing around. Anyway, so that is how we find part four, and we can then verify that yes, indeed, we picked the correct answer, answer C for problem number 16, which we could have already done after we completed part one and part two, because it was the only option that gave us the correct answers for part one and part two. And that is how it's done.